Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 10th of September, Saturday of the week of Pentecost 13. The appointed gospel lesson and an observation that I have from it. First, John 5th chapter, verses 1 to 18. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, a pool, in Hebrew called Bethesda, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he'd been lying there a long time, he said to him, you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled and why I am going another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your paddle and walk. And at once the man was healed. He took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, it's a Sabbath. It's not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, the man who healed me said to me, take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, who is the man who said to you, take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more that nothing worse befall you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this is why the Jews persecuted Jesus, because he did this on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is working still, and I'm working. This is why the Jews sought all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also called God his Father, making himself equal with God. For whatever use you may make of it, notice a few things in what's written. One, the man who'd been sick for 38 years and had nothing but good reasons why it was, did not seek out Jesus. He didn't know who Jesus was. Jesus said to him, you want to be healed? And he ended up healed, not knowing who it was. Jesus comes to this man later and says, by the way, you're healed, right? Now, sin no more. The response of the man was immediately to run to the authorities and rat out Jesus to them as the one who cured him to get Jesus in trouble. Dear Lord, when we get cured, may we be better than that. And the prayer, anonymous. Eternal God, by whose word the worlds were made and our wills quickened to serve you in sincerity and truth, open our minds and hearts to receive again that same word today and in and through your name. May we be taught how to live. Amen.